Okay. Oh, well, no, I'm trying to keep it together now. No. I'm not, I'm not going to try to make already, her cry, but if she cries, that's, that's not really... I've already had my touch-up. I was 10 minutes late. And before I went in, I actually met a family friend. And we had just been at my brother's wedding the week before. And he said to me, God, that band at your brother's wedding were super, you know, maybe keep them in mind for your own big day, Carl. And I remember I said to him, well, I have to sort the groom first. And speaking of, I have a guy inside waiting for me. <laughs> I was just blown away by her when I saw her. She just kind of walked past me and I was like, yeah, that's her, yeah, that's it, yeah. Well, my first impressions were that he was nervous, because he was. He gave me this kind of a, <laughs> a kiki wave. It is hard. When I came over, he was just immediately so handsome and so warm. Didn't want to be so cliche and say I just want to spend the rest of my life with that girl that I didn't really know, but um, yeah, it was kind of like love at first sight for me anyway. I, Dara, take you, Carol, as my wife, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, all the days of our lives. I, Carol, take you, Dara, as my husband, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, all the days of our lives. So today, on this 6th of December, 2019, the Holy Trinity Church, I solemnly declare of Carl and Dara as husband and wife. This could be the moment we've been waiting for, the chance to feel alive. Nothing's gonna stop us, nothing's gonna talk this, nothing like we've ever seen.
the little things that he does, but it all adds up to him being the kindest person I've ever met. Everything. Just her whole kindness and her, her love in her heart and just love the bones of her. This is where it all begins.